everyone, I am Nadega Anand and today I will be showing the experiment that is related to the water of crystallization. So basically, water of crystallization refers to the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt. For example, the copper sulfate or the blue vitriol has five molecules of the water of crystallization. Means, now if I will take the hydrated form of the copper sulfate and if I will heat it, it will lose its water of crystallization and it will form a white powderish thing. That is the anhydrous copper sulfate. Now, if I take that anhydrous copper sulfate and I add water to it, if it will regain its water molecules of crystallization and it will form the hydrated copper sulfate that we have the crystals, the blue crystals. So this is the experiment that we're going to be performing today. So let's go. So in the test tube, I'm taking the copper sulfate. is uh, the hydrated copper sulfate the blue vitriol it has five water molecules of the water of crystallization so now let's heat it after the heating we can see that the blue crystals have now turned into a white powder This white powder is the anhydrous form of the copper sulfate. And we all know, now when we will add water to it, it will turn into the blue crystals that we had in the beginning of the experiment. This is the anhydrous copper sulfate. Now, let us add water to it. So in this test tube, I have water. We can see that it has turned um, blue. We can see that um, the anhydrous white copper sulfate has now turned blue. Which means that when we added the water, it regained its water of crystallization and it turned back to the hydrous copper sulfate crystals. Thank you for watching.